I want to thank each and every one of you for all of the feedback from my last vlog about possibly losing our home on this restoration project. Today I'd like to take you on a tour of the property and get more feedback. So come along. Let's begin at the front of the house. I want to show you what we're thinking of doing and this is going to help with the restoration, but it's going to hopefully provide some income as well. As you can tell, the view here is not too shabby. Some of you suggested doing a wedding venue. Now the house isn't that large. It doesn't have a grand entrance or anything it just has these monster pillars but we need to find a place to be able to hold the wedding it would be an outdoor wedding because we don't have a grand hall or anything of that nature so I'm gonna walk you around the property I would imagine that if you were gonna have a destination wedding you'd want to be able to have your guests look out over the valley there our property is very hilly. I mean, there's hills everywhere. We barely have any flat area whatsoever. So we have to find a flat area to be able to put up a tent. Now this area here is flat. It would not be very large of an area right here. But as you can see, we have trees in the way. We'd have to thin these out so that people would be able to catch the view. Getting to this area, it'd be a little tricky. There is a graveyard right there that goes back for hundreds of years. So we can't desecrate that. Um, this is the other flat area. Right here. Now this is a much larger area. It kind of used to be like an apple orchard. Right now we only have two apple trees and I would sacrifice those pretty small apple trees for a wedding venue. So, all of this area here is nice and flat. Back there, it's a little more flat as well, so we could ex expand it from here all the way through the fence line, and that's the woods on the other side. Now, the tricky thing is, at the edge of our property line here, we have trees blocking the view. So these trees would have to go, or we'd have to thin them out so that you could see the mountains, which could be done. But I actually think this is probably a better area. Hey, look at these apples. Let's try the apple. Huh. Yep, kind of wormy. How about that apple? Not too bad. Oh, here's another apple. Look at that one. Ah. No worms on this one. So as long as I don't have a half a worm in the apple. Not bad. That driveway right there actually goes all the way around in front of the house. This is what I call our alternate scenic driveway. Now this driveway has a 
gorgeous view, as you can tell. But is any of that flat? Nope. Got a big power line here. I saw, I called the uh, electric company about getting rid of that. Yeah, for about 100 yards to get rid of it, $25,000. This area right here, I'm thinking would be great for the driveway as well as parking. What are your thoughts? But I love this driveway. It goes from a clearing into the woods here. Kind of very enchanting. Our idea is to put lights along the way for at night. And there's our house, Bonaire. We're currently working on another Airbnb, and this is the one we're working on now. Have its own separate entrance. Okay. Yep, I know it's yellow. Uh, but I've been working on this thing for the past two weeks with my dad. And this wall will be covered up. The brick's in bad shape. So it'll be a solid wall where the bed will go. Um, the bell will go right here, as you can see in that area, headboard there. And this room will be a kitchenette, because we have all the plumbing here. So I'll have an L-shaped counter here, sink, microwave, mini fridge for people to use. And over here, I'm working on this fast and furiously. This is going to be the full bath. Right now it's pretty hideous and ugly. But we're gonna tile it all up, uh, replace with a vanity. It'll be nice by the time I get it done. Just put the exhaust fan in yesterday. For people who stay at the Airbnb, they'll be able to come through here between three and five. We'll get this mudroom cleaned up. And voila. We have an authentic 1812 English kitchen. Pretty cool, huh? Some of the furniture that we're going to be putting into the Airbnb. But this will all be in period decor. The fireplace does work. We have fires there. So that will be part of the stay. And I'll have Baroque music playing. The second Airbnb eventually will be in this room here, full of junk. Um, it has its own fireplace there, and I have to build. I have to build a kitchen. Uh, it'll have a little, uh, like a mini bar area with a refrigerator over there. Where this window is currently, I'll put a door, and outside it'll be a full bath. But this is a much larger room, and it has these French doors that lead out to a nice patio. Another idea, this is leaning badly, it's not authentic, it was rebuilt, is to take this log cabin, put it on a solid footing, and make that a little Airbnb with a mini split in it. Um, could be cool, I'm not sure. Next, I'm gonna take you to, uh, it's gonna be a long-term project, but I think this could generate some income for us here at Bon Air. 
So let's take a drive on the golf cart. This barn has its own separate entrance to the main road, which is Cabell Road. It goes around the back. And it goes all the way down and it winds around to the main road. Now, let's go back. This is where I would put a deck and stairs leading up from this area here with the driveway behind me. And my idea is to convert, not the entire barn, I need my barn, is to convert the hayloft into, in France they call them a gite, which is kind of like a weekend getaway for a family. Voila. La hayloft, el hayloft, le hayloft. This is pretty big. The ceiling is probably 20 feet tall. It's 40 feet, so I'm thinking this is 30 by 40. That's 1,200 square feet. So this could be a big, big, big apartment. I was gonna put some skylights out here to be able to look out or dormers to look out to see the view. And of course, right here would be the entrance. Um, you could actually have a loft area. This is not the cheap project at all. But the view that you have still isn't too shabby. So those are my ideas so far. What do you think? What should I focus on? What should I not focus on? Please put your comments below. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to follow our journey.